getting enough protein in your diet is a common challenge I see among my fellow bros. It's even tougher for guys who need to consume a lower calorie diet in order to achieve their weekly fat loss targets. But unfortunately, there are two huge problems I see when it comes to the common advice here on YouTube for low calorie, high protein diets. Problem number one is that they rely heavily on egg whites and protein powders, and oftentimes for multiple meals throughout the day. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for myself personally, that combination gives me nasty gas. And it's one thing to have it for one meal, but multiple meals throughout the day, that's just boring, at least in my opinion. But problem number two is that they are dangerously low on their fat consumption, which can wreak havoc on your hormone levels and your overall well being. So, in this video here, I'm gonna walk you through a, a full day of eating here. 1500 calories, so a low calorie target that I'm aiming for. It's going to allow you to um, consume an adequate amount of protein, but also really prioritizing your health, your overall well being. These will be well balanced meals. Now, I really uh, want to thank Darren Bully for really provided me with the idea for today's topic. He sent me a message saying that his uh, daily target for, for calorie consumption there to hit his weekly fat loss goal of losing one pound per week is 1,500 calories per day, which is on the low end, but it's what he needs to do in order to achieve his goals. And he's finding that on average, he's only able to get about 70 to 80 grams of protein per day. So he's wondering what my advice would be to, to bump things up there. So first of all, if anyone's wondering why protein is such a concern to so many guys it really comes down to the common bodybuilding advice that we should be consuming one gram of protein per pound body weight if you want to build muscle during a gaining phase or if you want to preserve our muscle mass during a fat loss phase you may even see advice to consume 1.2 even upwards of 1.5 grams of protein per pound body weight during a fat loss phase to really ensure that you are preserving your muscle mass and even to increase your satiety like having more protein in your digestive system takes longer to break down and it may keep you satisfied or feeling satisfied a little bit longer. Definitely not the case for everyone, uh, but we gotta realize that this is just like general guidelines. We really don't have a ton of research to say like, this is the way it should be. And really when you look at the common advice out there, you will see that one gram of protein per pound body weight, but you also see some coaches recommend one gram of protein per pound your goal body weight. So if you have 40 pounds to lose and you're uh, 200 pounds right now, your how much gram you want to be consuming 200 grams of protein you'd be consuming subtract 40 from that 40 pounds you're going to weigh 160 pounds so 160 grams of protein so again one gram of protein per pound body weight or one gram of protein per pound your goal body weight some people will say some coaches will say one gram of protein per lean body mass which would be even less than that because you get to your goal weight you lose 40 pounds you're 160 pounds you still have some body fat on you so you still have like your your lean body mass is going to be even lower than that so there's a whole lot of conflicting advice so really i would take this all somewhat with a grain of salt. You're just using it as a general guideline. And you wanna make sure that you're not hitting or aiming for your protein target while sacrificing your health while sacrificing uh, the other macronutrients, your fats and your carbohydrates. Now, when it comes to your fats, like I said, a lot of the, the videos, basically every single video I watched that was low calorie, high protein had dangerously, I'm telling you, dangerously low um, fat consumption there, where you are definitely going to be wreaking havoc uh, havoc on your hormone levels and your overall health and your well being. So I recommend that you don't go any lower than um, 0.3 grams of, of fat uh, per pound body weight where you're at right now. So I'm 150 pound bro right now, multiply that by 0.3 and I'd be looking at no less than 45 grams of fat in my diet. So I make that my set point. That's even more important to me than hitting my protein target. I wanna make sure my fat doesn't get any low than 0.3 grams per pound body weight just to keep your hormones in check, keep you as healthy as you possibly can be throughout this uh, fat loss process here. Now, when it comes to the carbohydrates as well, like I know for myself, personally, I perform incredibly well when I have about 40% of my calories coming from uh, carbohydrate sources, some natural um, carbohydrate sources, whether it's rice, uh, sweet potatoes, yellow potatoes, oats, 
fruits, veggies, those kinds of stuff as well. So um, I want to make sure that my carbohydrate sources aren't too low because too low I want to make sure that I am able to perform my best, move my body to the best of my ability. And carbs are fat, uh, muscle sparing as well. So even if you're not quite hitting your protein target for the day, if your carbs are up there as well, that's going to be muscle sparing as well. So the combination of the two is going to be great. Also important to note that if you're resistance training, that's going to increase your chances of preserving your muscle mass. Most important, getting an adequate amount of quality sleep each and every night, making sure that you are doing everything you can to recover and manage your stress. It's amazing how many people will really do everything they can to hit their protein target, yet they don't do anything. They're sleeping like crap. They don't, they don't prioritize their sleep and the things that can really have a positive impact on preserving their muscle mass during a fat loss phase. So let's get to a 1500 calorie meal, a full day of eating right here. Started my day with breakfast. Typically I have a shake for breakfast, but for the purpose of this video, I am not going to consume any protein powders and I'm not going to consume any egg whites. So I started the day with some egg bites where I scrambled up, actually doubled up the, the serving size so I can have some tomorrow. I put the set half in the fridge so make it easy meal prep for I don't have to prep tomorrow. Um, so I used eight whole eggs, sprinkled in some pink Himalayan salt there, some ground black pepper, diced up um, some spinach there. So there's one cup of spinach for all eight here. I'm doubling it up. So it's going to be like half a cup of spinach that I'm going to be uh, end up consuming in this portion size as well as some hot peppers and some chives, some green onions there. So I scrambled up the eight whole eggs, put them, I just sprayed, um, there's nine little containers in the, the, the baking sheet there, the cupcake tray. I sprayed that with um, some um, low calorie cooking spray there. So it went no, nonstick spray, poured in the eggs, and then I sprinkled in the veggies, the spinach, the onions, and the, the hot peppers there. Baked that in the oven, 25 minutes, 350 degrees, freaking amazing, freaking delicious. So I had half that portion size. Um, so four and a half of those egg bites along with two third cup of oats um, and 140 grams of frozen mixed berries along with some cinnamon sprinkled on top. So in this, again, if you don't want to have, so my portion size for the egg bites was four whole eggs. If you think that's too much for yourself, I mean, that's what I have every single day and have been for years. Doesn't impact my cholesterol levels, my overall health, everything is fantastic. So if you do have higher cholesterol, maybe you want to cut back on that. Or maybe you just don't want to consume four whole eggs. You could have three eggs and maybe put in some extra lean ground chicken or extra lean ground turkey in there. If you want to have a little bit of egg weight in there instead, again, I'm having a four whole eggs because I want to make sure my fat content is up as well. And there's lots of nutrients in the yolk as well. Um, again, like I said, I'm, I'm great with that. But yeah, maybe one day I will do the, the instead of the eight, do six whole eggs for a double serving there and have some extra lean ground turkey in there or extra lean ground chicken, maybe some prosciutto in there, some other meats that you could throw in there as well to keep the protein content up uh, without having so many eggs in there. So lots of different options for that. Um, also, you don't have to have the two third cup of oats if it's a little more carbs than you, you, you want. You can maybe have a little bit of beef jerky instead. Uh, if you want to still keep the protein up there and not have so much carb source there. The meal number two, my lunch, this is a post-workout meal. I have up this every single time. Uh, so I had, what was it, 350 grams of 0% plain Greek yogurt and 140 grams of frozen mixed berries, some cinnamon sprinkled on top, and then half an ounce of pecans in there for the, the healthy fat. So that works out to be a thing like 15 grams of the pecans there. So a nice well-balanced meal. That first meal was just under 600 calories. This meal was, I think around 400 calories. Um, yeah, so I'm already at a thousand calories for the day at this point. And then dinner, which the, the first meal, again, very satisfying, very filling. This second meal, again, post-workout, pretty damn satisfying. I was still feeling pretty satisfied from that breakfast meal. This really hit the spot. And then dinner, I had 62 grams of uh, basmati rice that I cooked in the rice cooker along with uh, one cup, I forget the, the milliliters of that, ah, it's just over a cup, of the um, spicy Thai broth there. I love it, so it gives it that extra flavor. And really that comes out to a high volume amount of rice along with the pepper, which was, I think it came out to about 250 grams of um, two peppers that I had there. 
and chicken breast. So I, I fried up some chicken breast, just a light cooking spray as there as well. Some seasonings on that to give it a little bit of flavor. So that meal right there, I think was just a little bit over 500 calories. That dinner meal, definitely, I'm satisfied. I am definitely feeling really satisfied after that meal. I'm actually for 1500 calories, feeling pretty damn good right now. This is way lower. Like typically when I'm in a fat loss phase, I'll aim for 2000 calories for the day, but this is great. And part of that 2000 calories would be like protein powder. So it's protein powder, it's gonna give you a certain amount of calories in there, but it's not so much food volume. So I'm finally eliminating the protein powders and not just going with the egg whites and everything is, is giving me some good volume here and some good nutrition. So again, hit my target of 1500 calories for the day. Fats, 46 grams of fats, which was huge, really important for me to be above 45 grams of fat for the day. Carbohydrates was just under 160 and protein was 121 grams of protein there. So again, that is, I'm 150 pound bro, so it's not one gram of protein per pound body weight. Maybe it's somewhat, it's a little bit lower than one gram of protein per pound lean body mass as well. Um, but again, it's not, I'm close, I'm close enough to hitting that target. Plus I'm getting the carb sources there, 157 grams I think it was of carbs, which is gonna be muscle sparing. And more important, I'm getting my, I'm keeping my hormones in check, consuming an adequate amount of healthy fats there, which is great for my overall well-being, lubricating my joints, so my nails, my skin, I would say my hair, but <laughs> I don't have much hair anywhere on my body at all. So. Um, but still lots of benefits. So I'm really looking at the big picture here. So again, Darren, it's not going to be outrageous. I mean, 121 grams of protein is more than the 70 to 80 that you're used to consuming on a daily basis. You could also, like I said, if you didn't want to have quite as much rice or quite as much oats, if you do fine with a little less carbs, you could have some beef jerky. You could have some smoked salmon slices. One of my favorite things as, as well. I could have that with my lunch meal, the Greek yogurt. If I wanted just a little bit different texture, a little bit different source of protein. And there's just so many different little options that you can incorporate there. But again, for myself personally, I find this a very balanced meal. I've got 40, 30, 30% uh, when it comes to 40% uh, carbs, close to 30%. Uh, protein, 30% fats as well. So really in a good range. But again, it's not so much my calories are low. It's not so much the percent of fat I'm looking at. I want to make sure I'm getting enough, like the grams. So 0 0.3 grams of fat per pound of body weight is what I'm aiming for. I wouldn't stress over the protein. Again, 70 to 80 is probably low, but there's lots of different ways that you can incorporate different meals and snacks in your daily diet. I hope this meal plan kind of gives you an idea of how you can approach that yourself. Again, the egg bites, very easy on the go. You could batch prepare those, meal prep those and have them for a couple days, easy on the go. You get hard boiled eggs at night as well if you want something like that, if you didn't already consume the eggs earlier in the day. But again, don't stress over hitting that one gram of protein per pound body weight or 1.2 or 1.5 grams of protein per pound body weight if you're going to be dangerously low in your healthy fats. Um, and if you're gonna have like so few carbs that you end up getting brain fog, you're not performing well. Again, just take, I still urge you to take a balanced approach when it comes to your overall nutrition. So Darren and everyone else watching this video, I really hope you found value in it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do a favor and share it with them. I'm definitely going to be sure to share more behind the scenes footage of my, my daily diets. I'll probably do a whole bunch of different um, calorie intakes depending on where you're at in your diet and see how I balance things out. So maybe 2,000 calorie diet next, 2,500 calorie next. You can let me know what you want me to include in future upcoming videos here. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. I'll have it down in the pinned comment uh, down below and in the description of this video. Uh, I hope you have yourself an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video.